So when we're looking at, you know, dealing with a big animal like this in the field, in not an ideal place for it to be laying, you know, meat care is obviously paramount and you really gotta think about and plan for what you're gonna do once that animal's on the ground, how you're gonna take care of the meat, keep it clean, be able to get it back to camp and then eventually fly it out of here. So Jason's over there, he's gonna set up a tarp and as the quarters and as the meat comes off, and we're gonna use the hide in order to protect it along the way. Um, as we turn the animal over, you know, this moose, he, it's a big animal and, and you throw that meat without hide on it into the dirt and there's, uh, it's gonna be pretty difficult to, to get that off here. And that means that you lose meat because you're gonna be trimming that kind of stuff later on. And it's really, it's just about as keeping it as clean as humanly possible while you're out here in less than ideal conditions. And sometimes it's just, it's, it's really hard where these, where these big critters land um, and you have to deal with it as best you can. So once you get the quarters off and you get that, you know, back straps, the tenderloins, you wanna get it cooled down as quick as possible and get it into game bags, keep the dirt off of it and then get it hung. So you got about 24 hours, it would be the, you know, you wait 24 hours and you're really in trouble with, uh, especially if it's a warm day, then you're looking at bone spoilage from the inside out. So we try to take care of it as quick as possible, get it hung, get it, that meat cooled off as fast as you can. Here in September, that's usually not, not a big issue. You know, once you got the animal on the ground, you get them all pulled apart and then hung and there's not gonna be any problem. You can leave those quarters hang, you know, with a tarp over top of them in the shade for literally in September, mid to late September here, you could probably leave it for weeks. So that's as long as, as long as it's, you know, cools down at night. And, and right now we're dealing with snow in the mountains. So it's been freezing temperatures at night. So that shouldn't be any kind of a problem. But the key is get them dismantled, get them in game bags, cool them off as quick as you possibly can, hang them up, Make sure that no bugs or there's, that's what the game bags are for. Keep the flies and everything off of them. Cool it down, keep it clean, and you're good to go. So we're gonna do our best to try to keep the meat as clean as we can as we go through the process so that we have good clean meat for when we get home and uh, we're feeding the families.